definitely a student of the game. What are some of the things from tonight that might kind of eat away at you if, if you think about what happened in this game? Well, maybe just waited too late to, to put our foot on the gas. And uh, the basketball guys are rewarders. You know, we got to play like that the entire game. And we can't spot a team like Denver that type of lead. You know, give them credit. They forced turnovers again tonight, and then they made shots. Uh, I, I know you're not uh, obviously a forward or a center, but there was a big rebounding disparity. And, and Kyle Kuzma was just talking about saying, yeah, that hurt us for sure. That's unusual for you guys. Uh, you're one of the top rebounding teams. What do you think was different tonight in that category? Um, it's hard to really say without, you know, going back and watching the film. Um, there were so many things on mine besides the rebounding uh, advantage they had tonight. Like I said, um, I'll just try to have to watch film to see where we, uh, where we were at, you know, off the top, you know, maybe I'll say lack of effort. You know, some of the balls bounced away, but give them credit, and uh, they got to the loose balls and the rebounds when they needed. You guys won such a big game the other night. Was there maybe a little bit of an emotional hangover? Uh, you're down 20 in that third quarter. There, all of a sudden, it seemed. No, no, it's, it's a mismake lead. You know, we um, we had a lot of wide open shots that we didn't make tonight. Uh, we didn't shoot well from the free throw line, and we turned the ball over. Those three things. You know, we can't get, you know, keep getting breaks with, with wins and losses. So tonight, uh, we took a L and we deserved it. Thank you, Mike. Uh, do we have any on-site questions? Yeah, Dan Moiki's here. All right, take it away, Dan. Um, it seems like all throughout this postseason, teams have been able to switch to zone, and it just kind of throws a, a wrench in everything. It, it, it obviously helped key the fourth quarter for you guys tonight. Well, why, why is that defense so tricky? And, why is that something, you know, I think people see it. Why can't that be solved? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't think we face on the series or, or even last. So you know, I can't really say how it's affected us. And I can't give you the recipe to, to, to attack it. So did, did you feel like it disrupted Denver? I think it caused a little hesitation. You know, they, um, you know, they slow down their pace a little bit. Like I said, we're able to get stops. We got some free throw line in the fourth, and we're able to get back and set our defense. Um, Jamal Murray caught LeBron with an elbow in the first half, and I think you were on the bench saying, get him out of here. Uh, did you think it was a, a flavor two, that play? Uh, it's hard to say. I didn't really get a clean look. I saw it from the replay. Obviously, the refs took a better look at it, and deemed it a flag one, so you know, it's out of my control. All right, back on my, my side. Back to you, back to you, TC. Perfect, thank you. Uh, let's go to Tim. Hey, Rajon, did you, did you guys obviously made a huge run to get back in the game there. Uh, was it at some point just a little too much to overcome down the stretch in terms of being able to keep your foot on the gas long enough, or did they do anything different in those final few minutes? No, um, we had two great wide open looks. We had a transition fast break that we didn't capitalize on. So I don't think we ran out of gas. We just didn't, you know, make come up with the timely plays when we needed them. You know, we got back into it. We clawed our way back into it. But like I said, it was three or four possessions where we could have got, you know, where we did get great looks and we just didn't capitalize. 